Buenos Aires. I finally found um, an auberge in uh, second in wherever I am. Let's have a look in the little book. Um, I am in Castro Jerry's. Castro Jerry's. Who knows? There. Can you see? Can you read that? Cashajiras, and <clears throat> after becoming, well, thinking I was becoming a bit of a, oh, all showered, fresh, but after thinking I was becoming a very savvy pilgrim, and after experiencing some of the verges I've had before, where you know, beautiful homes with poles and washing machine and dryer, <laughs> nice washing line, nice garden, um, Wi-Fi, and and the kitchen's cooking. I've come to expect a little bit more from an auberge. I mean, that was only eight euros. That was great. I had one before it was eight euros as well. So I get to this town, and, um, well, there's a lot of auberges. They all seem to be charging 10 euros. Not one of them has a kitchen. Not one of them has washing facilities. <laughs> and that leaves me a little bit stuck because, well, I'm broke. So I can't pay this 10 euro pilgrim free course meal as well as 10 euros accommodation every night um, so uh, I'm carrying around this food in my bag this is some stale bread but actually it's not too bad I only bought it in Burgos the day before yesterday so I've had it for two days it smells fresh feels fresh it's alright kept it wrapped up in plastic and deep buried in my clothes the only thing I'm worried about is eating bed bugs I'm pretty sure it's infested with bed bugs but once it's gone through my system, it should be dead, right? I guess we'll see. So I opened a tin of um, whatever that was, fish with tomato sauce and sardines or mackerel or something. And there we go. A right old traditional fishy pilgrim lunch. A dinner, even. That's dinner for tonight. Um, it's actually quite good. So I'm going to have that. I still have some very stale bread, which I wanted to make some soup with and put in the soup, because that's actually quite good. That's what the um, Italians do. Um, nothing goes goes to waste. Um, so I um, just need to figure out breakfast tomorrow, but as I say, I'm not going in this heat again. So I'll be waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning and walking under the stars. Um... um I was going to climb up to the hill and watch the sunrise, but sunset, but I'm going to bed. I'm knackered. Plenty of time for that tomorrow. Alright, so. Bon appetit. Oh, oh she spills it. Bon camino.